So yesterday I watched Guardians of the Galaxy, and I thought it was okay. This isn't really a review of the film, so I'll open with my rating of 6.5 out of 10 stars. This video is more about the way that the film uses popular music of the 1960s and the 1970s to manipulate tone. Guardians of the Galaxy is a film that strives for a light-hearted tone, despite the visuals being dark and grimy. Some of the songs used in the film would be more suited to a scene of a character cheerfully running down the street in a romantic comedy. The music in these films reinforce the happy and joyful environment that the characters exist in. In Guardians of the Galaxy, however, when the music clashes with the environment, it becomes contrapuntal. That is, it makes a contrasting image that, when done right, inspires a unique tone. A director most significantly known for using this effect is Quentin Tarantino. A great example is the ear scene from Reservoir Dogs to the sound of Stuck in the Middle with You. The music is slightly distracting and stops the horrifyingly violent scene that's taking place spoil the cool and relaxed tone the film starts with. The song maintains the atmosphere of the film that harkens back to 1950s culture whilst permitting some gratuitous violence we have since found out that Tarantino loves. Of course Quentin Tarantino was probably inspired to make this choice by one of his many influences one of his many influences, many influences, many influences, many influences, many influences, many influences, most likely Stanley Kubrick, who pioneered creating tone through music, occasionally contrasting of the image, such as the use of surf and bird in Full Metal Jacket. This again creates a tone contrasting with the images of horrific warfare that is being presented to the audience. What's different about the example of Kubrick is that the use of the song is the intentional statement about the horrible events happening in Vietnam showing the contrast of the pop song to war as an attempt to explain the insanity of the soldiers by unhinging the viewer. An earlier Kubrick example is Dr. Strangelove, where nuclear explosions are narrated by Vera Lynn singing We'll Meet Again, which at first is a cheerful but bittersweet war song. The effect of this song in this position highlights the absurdity of nuclear warfare and provides a fantastic conclusion to a classic film. So let's bring this all back to Guardians of the Galaxy, the intention of the music is not merely to reference the fact that the protagonist is a human from Earth, but is also a technique utilised by the director to liven up scenes, which, without the contrapuntal sound, may seem like straight down the line monotonous action sequences. Manipulation of the audience is not necessarily a negative thing. In fact, you could probably say the whole career of Alfred Hitchcock relied on that power, but in Guardians of the Galaxy, it feels as if a dull film is being rescued by an eccentric feature which the filmmakers are lucky to pull off effectively. To an argument against the otherwise dullness of the action sequences, I would provide the action sequences of the film without the music, and instead a more standard score, perhaps by Steve Jablonski. With those changes, I would not see anything particularly unique about the film, and with its current rating on IMDb of 9 out of 10, I just wanted to provide a contrary opinion to an otherwise universally praised film. And if a whole success of a film, which to me is just okay, hinges on the utilisation of a particular effect, I can't help but feel the remaining structure of the film is flimsy and will not stand up to further viewings.